Today, we're testing a budget-friendly alternative to macOS on our low-end PC to see how well it actually performs. But before you get too excited, remember this isn't the real macOS. It's Pear OS, a Linux-based operating system designed to look and feel like Mac 1. In this video, we'll do a full review set it up in dual boot with Windows, and put its performance to the test. And the big question, should you even bother trying this OS, or is it just a waste of time? Stick around till the end as we break everything down step by step. Now, let's jump to the PC screen and get started. Let's roll. So first, you need to download the ISO file in Rufus. You can find the download links on my website. Also, you can also download them from their official sites. But there you'll get the nice core version, which is not suitable for low-end PCs at all. I have personally tested it, so make sure to download only the monetary version. After downloading, insert your USB drive into your PC and launch Rufus. Now, select the ISO file you downloaded and click the Start button. A pop-up will appear where you should keep the first option selected. And if it asks to download any additional files, allow it. So the process has now started. Let's wait for it to complete. A few moments later. Once the process is complete, restart your PC and boot from the USB drive. Then the system will then load some files and Pear OS will successfully boot. What you're seeing on the screen now is the live boot version. You can explore it. And if you like it, you can proceed with installation, which is also quite simple. To install, click on this icon and then a setup wizard will appear on your screen. Make sure your Wi-Fi is connected, otherwise you won't be able to proceed with the installation. After this, select your location based on where you live and click the next button. Then, choose the replace a partition option if you want to install this OSA alongside Windows. Now, select the partition where you want to install it. Make sure the selected partition is completely empty and has at least 20 GB of free space. After this, enter your details such as username and password, then click the install button. The installation process has now started and it will take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Now that the process is complete, I will simply restart the PC. As soon as your PC restarts, a boot menu will appear where you can choose to launch your previous windows as well. However, for now, I will select Pear OS and press enter. As you can see, it has been successfully installed and is running quite smoothly on my 2GB RAM laptop. And now, let's explore it a bit. Here you'll find several pre-installed apps, such as Firefox, VLC, and Pear TV. Additionally, there's an app store where you can easily download games and software. I've also downloaded and tested quite a few games, and they all ran quite well. The developers have deeply customized every aspect, from animations to settings, to give it a Mac OS-like appearance. So, if you want a Mac OS-like experience on your system, you should definitely try this OS. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Also, if you're interested in trying another Linux variant, then the video on the left is perfect for you. Just click on it, and this way we'll meet again.